grand dad finale. One moment. Finale. Here we go. We're ready to go. We're gonna start right away. One day, everyone's favorite hero, Mario, wins a cruise. Never seen again. <clears throat> Who's Toadsworth? Oh. oh, I forgot about our name. High <laughs> as smug. What's the booty? Let's do it. I got hot in here with three people crowded around the same area. Here we go. Party cruise, we're doing it. So there's, there's like three good boards in this one. Yeah. We're doing 15 turns. So what board are we doing? Um, I don't want to do Windmillville or Neon Heights. And I feel like we don't go to paint too much and no one wants to do Star Stealing. So what I'm trying to say is I guess we want to do Grand Canal. Grand Canal, simple, I easy. Yes. Simple and easy. I kind of hate how luck depends on Did you already start with board this one? Yeah. Oh, right. there you go. Yeah. I was on that shit like lightning. 15 turns. It's getting late. I'll try to finish this a little bit earlier. There's a little bit of unlocks here. I'm gonna be the boo. Toadette. I'll bring Todd back. Yeah, Todd was a good one. Popular demand, Todd's back. We're ready to go. Instantly. Look at that. Set up in all 1 minute and 30 seconds. Let us run. We're going to the canal. Chat, something I really like about this game that I wish they did more of in like Mario Party 8 was having the, uh, the special boards. Ah, uh, they're unbalanced. They could have been balanced a little better, but I like the idea of them. You only say that because you have a good one. No, I, I wish some characters had better ones. Oh, I didn't mean to arm myself with knowledge. I think Do you I think Boo and Peaches and Daisies does. And uh, Chaps no, actually I don't. Uh, they roll their dice and then they have flowers that give them three points every step they take. Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. shit. All right, I finally get to go not last. Who's going first? That's Christian. Yeah, yes I am. Is dry bones. Chat, I'm the forgotten. There we go. Proud to Isaac. <laughs> oh, I grabbed an invisible number. Why does it have the magnet Stars like that? over here, folks. Hurry up, hip hip. You Got get it. There, buy it for 20 coins. Capital, old chap. <laughs> I grabbed another invisible item. There we go. I say, I'm a fancy old man with a mustache. Oh yeah, I hate Bowser time in this game. I did it. I mean, every five turns you have to deal with it? Yeah, yeah it's really fun. Oh, Koopa Kid's faces? Those suck. They're just kind of obnoxious. See, Bowser right. time is like, you hamper first place, but then also last place. <laughs> I'm so evil, I love it. You know, I'll be proud of your career choices. Oh boy. Oh, All right, start. starting off clean. Kick me before I start the race. What can he possibly do on the literal first turn? Nice. <laughs> 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 right. Pick me, pick me. He's got me. He's doing the old swapsies. So now you have gross Todd money. He's distributing the wealth even. You have gross Skyrim coins. What was the point of this? I uh, waste evil. time. This is a reset for speedrun. <laughs> yeah. Got terrible RNG at the start. A game. two? Oh, we're counting now, are we? One of those boards? Actually, no. Why would you complain about the being unbalanced? You have a good one too. I can't use anything but three mushrooms. So. And you act like that's a bad thing. Well, it can be. Barely. Yeah, Christian and I have a good one. It Yours is better than mine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It 100% is. Christian, back me up here. I don't know what yours is. Uh, and yours is also mine. I don't know what that is, then. Uh, we get a magic wand that doubles our dice roll and makes us immune to passive traps. They how how is that not better than three mushrooms? Or you two, get two dice rolls. One mushroom for three turns. Uh, ours only lasts for two turns. Yeah, but it doubles. the same penalty of not being able to use things. Yeah, but you get a double number. Yeah, if you roll... Yeah, but if I get two dice blocks... This map is kind of loud, by the way. It's kind of. Kind of. Hold on. Big Dripper? We had all these amazing games to get first, and we got Big Dripper. Which isn't even a bad minigame in its own right. It's just probably the least... Uh, yeah, collect that sweet, sweet honey. All right. Not the bees! Oh, Volume has been adjusted for chot. All right, ready? Yes. I'm good to go. I hope Chad has been able to hear me fine this whole time. No one said anything. Open duck. I'm trying to speak up, but I am there far away and I can't hear 
I Volume can't. has been adjusted. We're good. Don't forget, you can grab the honey while you're ducking. Holy crust. Oh, yeah. Go. It's always been like that. What button is duck? Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, hold you gotta hold it. I missed that I one. I missed it. Finish. I got 11. Damn. Nice. How did I like, get six? Oh my god. I thought I got more. I thought I did pretty alright, but apparently not. Alright, well, let's just collapse. Yeah, god, the, nice. yeah, I could not handle that sound effect at all, could it? Hold on. Our GameCube is not that powerful, Chot. Huh? My GameCube is extremely powerful. <laughs> Clearly not a crust up and bees. Uh, that's that. That's that's not my hardware fault. My dad works at Nintendo. He told me it's your fault. You can land where I am, or you can land where I'm not. The choices are plenty. See, I'm on the boat. You'll be next to the sign. They change the buttons for the map every single damn game. It's so disorienting. <laughs> sometimes it's Z, sometimes it's R. Yeah, they really change that a lot, huh? Why? Because it's new. It's innovative. It's fun. Oh yeah, I forgot about that Nintendo Innovative Seal of Quality. Yep, Star Fox Zero. You mean Star Fox Zero out of ten? No, I mean Star Fox Zero. The best game in the franchise. Revive Star Fox. Yeah. Now, A, they did it poorly, and B, they did it on the Wii U. Wii U first controls. Oh, baby. Star just Fox made 64 again. Unironically, if they just made Star Fox 64 HD Remaster 4K, that that would do better than every other Star Fox game before it. One, two, it did. Three, it was on 3DS. Uh, That's the, <laughs> exactly. I want to be on the ball. They just keep, they just keep releasing all the best. The best Star Fox games is literally just Star Fox 64 and the re-release of Star Fox you know, 64. No, Star Fox 64 was also a re-release. It was the NES game. You're right, actually. I'm not putting that on the bridge. Doesn't involve giving them a staff. There we go. A sexy furry lady. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna crash. I'm powers. Well, Stairfax Temperatures was, uh... I was looking at, like, the, the opening cutscene of Star Fox Adventures again, and the thing I find hilarious is, like, the made-up language with, with general scales. Didn't need yeah. to be there. Me, ba, bo, ba, ba, general scales. Have you ever heard yeah. Sam Dross' voice in that game? No. Uh, he sounds like someone doing a bad impression of, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. Uh, there is... Have you ever seen the footage for Dinosaur Planet? Like, the, the leaked stuff that came out a couple months ago? No. Nah. Vinny played a bit of it. So like I I they uh he played like the Dragon Palace or the palace that's at the beginning of the game before it was you know turned into Oh this game is bullshit. That alright, well this is ought to be fun. So you move and shoot and I hope I don't lose. These these tanks control like ass and Dylan is better than us. Alright, let's see if I can nail this. Prepare game! <laughs> Go! Dead. I should have just sat there and shot. I should have. Uh, you might have won, actually. I would have been down at 1 HP at least. Gush. Here we go. You know, in Star Fox 64, you can play on foot in, uh, in multiplayer. Yeah, it's a weird mode that I don't remember how to unlock. You need to get a medal in all of expert, all the expert mode maps. And you can play on foot with all the characters, and it's, their, it's the models you see on the, the title screen, and they run around with rocket launchers. It's also the first time you see their robot feet. Well, you see it on the title screen. I guess, yeah. And Star Fox 64. Not Star Fox 64. Smash 64 shows Fox. Yeah. Ha! Cool guy, that Fox. Uh, I like how Smash 64 Fox is basically just a cross between him and Falco. It's up there. He has Falco laser and Falco up me. Well, I mean, that Fox came first, so Fa Fox is... Fox got differentiated so that Falco had the other elements, too. Falco had... Falco has the stronger F smash. Yeah. And then his up smash is kind of weak as shit. But they changed the animations after melee, and then his up smash doesn't even connect yeah. properly anymore. And his F smash, is, his F smash looks different and it's stronger. I don't well. know. You know what I don't get? I I wish that for ultimate only Pichu is there spiked as a way to differentiate him instead of giving it to both of them because why not? Pikachu didn't need it. Pikachu didn't need it. To be fair, Pichu's is kind of dumb, but I think I'm okay with him. Have you seen it? the hitbox on Pichu's? Yes. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have a sour spot. 
It doesn't make any fucking sense. I've seen that shit spike from behind him. Yes. Target tag. I hate this game. Starts massively. We're gonna win. I don't know how this game registers who hits the target. I don't know either. You just move into the target, and I guess you gotta hope that you're the one who hits it. I honestly don't know. I'm surprised this got past testing, because I feel like this should have come up. Maybe there is something to it, and I just never understood it, but I don't know how As far as I'm concerned, this is all RNG. Get out of my way. Wow, I lost it pretty significantly. I don't need them. I shot I got shot out of the right cannon and then all the fifties were on the left side. Do you think it could possibly be whoever whatever character model just jutes out the farthest the most? I I have no idea because sometimes it feels like I'm going for it and then sometimes it felt like I wasn't gonna get it and then I felt my controller rumble anyway. I don't get it. You just go for it, and then you hope it works. But maybe if you don't move, you go further out forward. That's what I meant, too. Oh, just short. Yeah. Well, I can't afford it. None of us can. Oh, that's right. Unless Toad oh. uses that and gets a coin out of it. What is Todd trying to do? He's going to make coins. You can get coins out of capsules, right? Oh, he did. You can, though. Thank you for the sub, Glorious. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, that could happen. I could do that. Yeah, yeah that I could happen. didn't consider that one. That one doesn't really happen. Right, no, yeah. It happened twice in Mario Party 4, Sorry, and no one used the buck lady. That's amazing. Pichu has a rainbow hitbox, but it's Moko's durability. <laughs> True, Pichu does die at like 50 regularly, but he's also kind of an obnoxious sack of shit. Remember, he was really good pre patch because he had kill power that was a little bit insane. His F tilt killed at like 100 near the ledge and was active for 8 frames. He's still a good character, but he the risk reward is definitely more like... Well, that's unfortunate. Playing neutral with that character puts you in kill percent. Neutral? Do you play that? Well, I mean, you can press buttons in neutral, and PJ has a lot of safe buttons, but most of the buttons he presses do damage to him, right? True. So he can't throw projectiles out without, like, losing. Like, he can't, he can't afford to camp you up because he will eventually lose the percent lead. So they balance that by giving him absurd strength on his electric attacks, and then those electric attacks got leaning tower fees. They got slapped. Like Peach's F tilt, I think I think Peach's F tilt was pretty fucking stupid to begin with. But like, Peach got slapped with more uh, more reductions than Pikachu did, and it doesn't feel like it feels. It feels like a combination of that like, Pikachu maybe shouldn't have got hit that hard, or maybe Pikachu probably shouldn't have what he has. Pikachu should definitely have gotten hit harder. Yeah, Pikachu's the one who got was the problem child, and then they just left Pikachu alone. Now, Pikachu is one of those characters you don't see anyone play anymore. Which is a shame, because I like I actually like seeing Pikachu. Uh, this That's only because you don't see him anymore. No, I did like him. I hated him. He was obnoxious to fight, but I he, was, he was cool to watch. I fucking hated him, dude. I only like watching him die at 50, because I thought... Pichu players getting mad at dying at 50 is hilarious. Because they get real upset. Yeah, they do. Like, I, I, oh, I outplayed you. Like. They, I outplayed you with my, in, in, like, insufferable frame data, but then you killed me at 50. I'm better than you. It's like, alright. Well, I played Smash 4 too. I know, I know how to, like, trust right, me, man. Nice. Shit happens. I, I'm sorry. I tried to be, I tried to be, uh, couldn't think of a gunman at the time. I'm afraid I am a failure. Come on, Todd. Stop getting hit by the webs. Alright, I fucked that up really bad. Ball. I'm sorry, Todd. I'm so sorry, Todd. That's my fault. I'm sorry, Todd. Papega. I shot you. We did it. <laughs> we killed the spider. We saved the butterfly. Spray and pray. Fire de Lisa. Pray, I was aiming. You know something interesting about the Star Fox characters, actually? So, uh, Fox's Shine, that, when does that become active? Like, frame 4 or something? Frame 1. Not in Melee. Not, not in Melee, I'm not talking Melee, I'm talking Ultimate. <laughs> I don't know, let's go Ultimate Frame Data and find out. Because I'm pretty sure Falco's Shine, even though it's kind of like, you know, he kicks it out and it retracts, I'm pretty sure it's active from frame 1. So it's a frame 1 reflector. Because of that, he, you know, he, he kicks it out like a dumbass, doesn't actually hold it. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Shine doesn't activate to like frame 4, 5, 6, or 7, or something like that. If you saw what it was as a frame 1 option in Melee, and granted it did more than just be a frame 1 option in Melee, but they really didn't want to risk that one being good again, huh? True. That happened again. Two well, turns in a row.
Two plus two equals ten points. Yamale will come back. I just I had to re-add it to Franker face, so now I have to wait for a re re verification. Cause I wasn't expecting to have birthday Lily today. That's all. I jumped the gun. A coin. Star. Well now you will. Mushroom. Where is the star? Um, I missed it. By a space. Oh, you're gonna land on it. You better use the capsule, might have a coin in it. I didn't think I was gonna roll a fucking ten. True, but you had a mushroom, so you would have rolled more than a ten, right? But fuck it, I'll buy the wiggler for ten coins. You can buy that for ten coins. I'm in last. This game is I'm in last. Shut up. Jeez, some money, wow. Come on, come here again. Ten coin stars. Remember when it costs fifty? Eh, what? Alright, I'm back here. See that? He said, eh, what? Eh, what? Eh, what's all going on here, Mike? He's British. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Here we go. You bet. Use them. Three of them, thanks. Look at that. Oh, you should have taken the other boxes. Once. The reflector is, uh, Frank three. Frank three? Huh? Frank three? That's what I thought. Alright. Oh, I got ten. What about plate, Wiggler with wings, they're called flutters. Whatever, you know what I mean, flutter or whatever. Uh, they first appear in Yoshi's Island. Have they appeared in anything else? Oh, oh no. Here we go. Oh, oh why? Alright, hold on, actually, I only looked at the hitbox. Uh, Falco's reflector is frame 5, but the reflection is frame 1 to 33, so let me recheck the Yeah, box. that's what I thought. We got full final countdown. Deck hands is a game of chance. I want to play game. final. We don't oh. guess. Yeah, Pick go ahead. Alright, I'm good. not playing. I'm not playing deck cards this early in the game. <laughs> Have some confidence in your skill. Alright, so this is uh, you, you can either try to tie the game or you can try to win. When I show skill in games like this, Andrew calls me a cheater. True. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? He didn't sign a treaty. That was a copy of the peace treaty. <laughs> All right, you know how this works. It's, uh, same controls for all the fighters. Sorry. Sorry. I helped. I don't want any trouble. I, I'm, I'm an innocent soul in here. I'm scared, dude. I don't, I don't trust you. You stay two squares away from me. Wow, you almost walked off of that. I can't lose. Finish. Okay. The peace treaty is real this time. We split the pot. I think we do anyway. Hey, look, we dropped him back. <laughs> Dude, you see how far he fell? How far do you think he went before he came back? All right, Fox's reflector actually reflects on frame four, even though it's frame three. Huh? Really? Yeah. He's also Ooh, involved in frames profit. two to three. Someone paid for it. Andrew paid twelve coins and made it a double profit. He oh. didn't deserve that one. Wait. We should have split the pot. <laughs> she took him wow. out. All right, here's Bowser time. The most intrusive bullshit in the game. Oh, you won ten coins of that mini game? Mm, give me ten. Give me twenty of them because it's a been uh, five turns. Oh my god. Yep, there it is. Am I the boatman? I want to be the duck. <laughs> you cannot be the duck. Oh, I'm the I'm, I'm the bar lady. I'm, I'm Komachi. I have such a nice photos. Mm. Bowser's writing in this game is at least really good. All right, well, ignore that mini game we just won. Yep. Well, I mean, we got 12 coin profit. I got 14. Coin profit. Right, right, right. Not uh, yeah. 14 coin profit. You there we go. Do, you didn't even give us that picture, man. He took our money and didn't deliver the commission. He took it away. Nope. What makes him charge 20? Is it when he puts a picture of himself in there? It might be. Or yeah, I just, just thought it was random no matter what. Mm. The coin Maybe I just don't pay close enough attention. Not the first season. The first uh, the first couple yeah. chapters are a little fan servicey. But uh, as I said, it will. It does start to like. It does start to get a little more of a serious tone, and I'm, I'm liking it. But again, it's only like 37 chapters right now, so that's like three volumes. The Leaning Tower of Pisa again. He wants to fall Pizza. again. Yeah. Get it right. Pizza. Pizza? Why is it leaning? You know what? I'm making I'm making spaghetti. Wait, I don't have any sauce. Fuck. I'm not eating. We don't even have ragu anymore. They discontinued it in Canada. What? They did that a while ago. Wow. They look at that from sure you're so fine art about it. I used the rest of my uh my sauce, so now if I make spaghetti it's gonna be dry. So I can't do that. I like making spaghetti. Spaghetti is hard to fuck up, that's for sure. Although I ain't buying cheese for it. It costs more than the spaghetti and the sauce together. Fuck that. 
cheese is delicious. <laughs> they were they? Oh, this game is great. I think it's like Steer Star. I actually don't remember though. Uh, yeah, it's like Steer Star. All right, so I you think so, at least, I, I, I don't remember. That's the problem. I'm gonna assume it's Free Star, and then I'm going to lose for it. Oh boy. It's a whole day, and then yeah. turn the direction. Whoever starts closer to the wall wins. <laughs> All right, GG. Well, assuming I know how to drive this Go! thing. Win for the moment. It's, it's Steer, Steer Star. Star. Oh. oh, okay. I blew it. Left and right moves it. Yep. I was pressing up and down. Yep. Oh. So did I. I was the only one who used the Steer Star in Air Ride, so I know how to do this. I used to use the Steer Star, but then when I when I figured I, out how the Free Star worked, the Free Star. The Free Star is literally just you go the direction you point. It's weird. My brain can't register. The right. Steer Star is fucking weird. Caitlyn games are just like who figured out the controls during the first couple seconds. Yep. That was 100% what this That's game what is. That's what all the races are in this. This game is position, oh, and whoever figures out how to play cheese it first. Cheese is expensive, but cheese is delicious. Cheese is hella expensive. Even the fake cheese is pretty fucking pricey. Yeah. But it's worth it, because cheese is good. I'm just not paying, I'm not paying $8. Yeah, okay, I'm it's not, not worth it. It's I'm good. not paying $8 for shredded cheese. No thanks. I can buy, I can buy the spaghetti and the sauce for like almost half of that. I'm, the thing I like is spaghetti without the cheese. Well, I'm fine with it without the cheese, but I got a yeah, sauce. Wow. Ragu was discontinued in Canada over a year ago, in August 2020. Why? I don't know. Canadians hate ragu? Ragu? Yeah, the ragu pasta sauce brand. I don't know why it's soft. I didn't know it's soft. Canadian dollar is garbage. Remember that. Our economy sucks. Bananas. That'll be $10 US. Oh, okay, let me just get that. Oh, $15? And it just gets worse the higher the number goes. Coin, one banana. Today's oh, single God. player game or it's multiplayer? Yeah, last not. time we got a right. bunch of Donkey Kong mini games and he it just made it take forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this one. Change. Change. So who gets the poor priority? Aim in the direction. Stand in the place you are. Face north. Just don't be Canadian. Apparently. Next, you'll be telling me don't. not to drink milk from a bag. Go! I didn't get it. I got it. How is that like decided? I don't know. I, I got 10 coins. Finish. What a game. I got 8. <laughs> it's a good game. Someone probably spent weeks playing it. You know, when they were testing it, they're like, yeah, good enough. Yeah, this is a game. <laughs> it does its job, I guess. Why do you put milk in a bag if you puncture it by accident? It's all gone. Who's puncturing their milk bag? You get punctured, all that blood will be gone. Huh? How do you puncture a milk bag? If you puncture a milk bag, you don't deserve the milk. Yeah, you're an idiot at that right, point. Where the hell is the, uh, the star again? Oh, if you yeah, drop like this right glass corner. jar, it's made of glass. There you go. Okay, I, I keep, I'm looking at this from so far away, I keep thinking that the stars are like dry bones legs and he's sitting down. Milk isn't proper. You can just oh buy it back. Oh my fucking god. Alright, I, I, I got it, but like, I'm mad about it. Oh, okay. well. Pink food. Oh boy. Mm. Pink food's cool. Uh, no, I have a bowl. Nope. Milk comes in cartons and plastic bottles, but it also can be bought back here. We're not really sure why, it just does. You can also buy a cow and get it yourself. True. Uh, well, that may be a little bit more of a process than what you're making it out to be, but I can't if you're confirm. More that is. I... <laughs> Any cow farmers in chat can confirm? Is it easy to just buy a cow and then milk it fresh from oh, the source? Oh, Harvest Moon says so. Todd. Harvest Moon costs five thousand gold. Oh wait, one cow. You're gonna get that star. Am I? How do yes. you know? Because uh, do you see where it is? Do you have even a single fact to back up that claim? Yes. The oh. fact that you got the star. Oh, I got an eighteen. Wow, I got the star. Cool. You don't got bag milk over there? You bet you got your own fair share of weird stuff. People in Scotland eat sheep stomach and they act like that's not weird. But bag milk is something bag milk is where people draw the line? Are you you sure about that? Oh, I could get that if I had enough kern. Anyone else from Canada? Beavers. True. We do. We have moose, and if there's more than one, we call it moose. Moose and moose. I'm not buying that. My bag of liquid. Sometimes you gotta put it somewhere. 
And you can't what are you just gonna put it on the table? That won't work. Chad, you know why? Because it's a liquid. Chad, I've got a good case. joke that I've definitely told before. <clears throat> I went to a, I went to the mm. grocery store the other day to buy milk, and when I brought it up to the cashier, he asked me, "Would you like the milk in a bag?" I said, "No, please, keep it in the cart." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 21 oh. and a dad. I press A button. Oh, yeah, just uh, that's literally it. You press A button. All right, I'll make you back. get as much as you can. Get time runs out. I don't think yeah. there's any way to read this properly. Well, I think I made a profit. No, I okay. Uh, I got nine coins. I didn't I lose. 14. I got ten. I don't know any other reasons, reasons where bag milk exists. There's no such thing as bag chocolate milk. That'd be weird. Yeah, what's up with that? Why do they only bag white milk? Is it for delivery purposes? Because there are milk bottles, right? But are those, aren't those like glass? Maybe it just costs less to make a bag instead of a jug. Do we even have milk bottles here? Like, no, I've never seen bottles. Well, aside from the plastic bottles, but no, like, I've never seen plastic bottles. Milk bottles. But like I've seen in delivery, like in shows and stuff, do they deliver bottled milk? Yeah, I don't know. Do we have bottled milk in Canada? I don't think we do. Maybe we just deliver bag milk. Well, yeah, we did. I guess that's true. Uh, Star's behind us. Star's behind Quite us. Quite far behind us, actually. Alright, then, uh... I'll go for it. Ooh. Cartons? Where are your cartons? Cartons are everywhere. Yeah, we switched to cartons once children started going missing. <laughs> it helped find them. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Robo. That's simply superb. Happy Bort Day. Thank you. Why are you thanking them? Well, were you gonna? If you told me, yes. I was just, I was just catching it. And Besides, he's and he needs, and he needs another an adult to say. Okay, to and say in thank fourteen you. days, then that my thank you will apply. <laughs> don't worry. Well, we do live in Nova Scotia. I don't really know what's happening here compared to the rest of Canada. Nor do I really want to. <laughs> I'm gonna go waste my time on a MySpace I can't use. I hate this place. Oh, I'm gonna waste Look what you've done. Plastic cheese is American. No, American cheese is American. It's not even cheese. Nowhere on that package does it say cheese. It is not legally allowed to be called cheese. What am I talking about? All I know I'm talking about is not cheese. You know, like craft slices and stuff? The, like the. Oh, yeah, that can yeah, that's not cheese. And it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging that it is cheese because legally it is not allowed to do that. It yeah, I know. I used to cheese. have that stuff all the time, and now I don't. We all did, yeah. Yeah, I still like it. Now it only slices. I try to get like the, like the actual marble cheese slices. Yeah, mom uses them for burgers. They're good. She used to use like the, I, I as a child, ones. I would just eat those and be like, yeah, this is cheese. And then I, as I got older, it's like huh. cheese is cheese. Not quite anymore. It's like no, it's just like almost a plastic orange slice, and it's like yeah. legally just legally not cheese. Yeah. Well, you never liked cheese whiz to begin with, so you were you were lucky on that. Yeah, you know cheese whiz is actually we know. great. Yeah, we know. We, we know. talked about it in a Toho <laughs> stream a while ago. Okay. We love to talk about that one. Yeah, we learned a lot about weird food. Did topics. you know that us Canadians love to stick yellow paste down our throats and pretend it was cheese? By the way, it was gray and almost uh, dangerously close it, to being plastic. They, call, they <laughs> called it cheese with a C, so it clearly wasn't actually cheese. If I wasn't Canadian, I wouldn't believe poutine was a Canadian thing because that shit is so greasy and sounds like an American thing. Right? But there, have you seen an American, well, are you, American portion sizes, by the way, are 100% legit. I believe it. When I learned to bake cookies, I had to like, uh, like uh, cut the amount of sugar listed in half because it was American recipe. <laughs> I, I got caught in the corner? What? I, I got stuck? Oh, I won. Nice. I got stuck? Okay. I didn't even know you like, got stuck in this game. When I went to Oakland for Genesis, we went to a Denny's. And I, no I, got, I got. What do you mean, say no more? The food was bad. No, it was great. Lies. No, Denny's is good. Denny's so you was. Didn't bite into like uh, the Krabby O' Mondays burger. <laughs> no, no, it was good. It was a good burger. What I was trying to say is, I ordered a burger and fries, and they brought it over, and I was like, holy shit, I did not order a large. But like, there's no other sizes, right? So they just handed me a giant plate with a huge burger and fries, and it was like 12 bucks US. And I was like, what the fuck? That would cost me like. $18 Canadian and I would have to like specify to fuck me up with that burger if I wanted it that size. It's, it's ridiculous. I got like a medium soda. 
Well, it was the closest place nearby the hotel, and we were in Oakland, and I already lost when you were in Oakland, so it wasn't, wasn't great. Oakland was a very strange time. Last time, my last, like, restaurant experience, like, re re going outside to a restaurant, like, Trevor and I were downtown, we went to some, like, like, a bar restaurant. We were, like, the only people there. We were just like, alright, let's just try and eat something. And they and it gave us the world's most saltiest fries. Like, they were good, it? but gosh, they were salty. Where was it? And I don't, I, I don't even remember. I haven't been, been outside. There. And I remember I go to the bathroom, and there's like this huge ass rat just running around in there. I'm like, oh, oh. the giant rat! He's making the rules. <laughs> so that was the last time I went outside to eat food. There was a there was a place downtown that was closing, I believe. So they had the, the sales. Everything was on like I think everything was on like uh, on sale for a decent amount. So we went there. It's called Fickle Frog, uh, and we went in there and I ordered poutine. Oh boy, bad idea. I want I just wanted a poutine. It was eight dollars, and they basically gave me like a dog food bowl and just like barely any fries. Like eight bucks poutine. It was it was awful. It, like it wasn't even that good. I right, just press A, but hit break the rocks. That's yeah, all. Look on the bright side. You get a story of saving food. No, 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 no. That's not even the worst part. They, they took the order, right? The order was late anyway. And they brought all the drinks out. They put the drink down in front of everyone but me. And then the waiter waitress was like, I don't know who ordered the Pepsi. And I was like, who the fuck do you think ordered the Pepsi when I am the only one without a drink? So that rubbed me the wrong way. It was like, come on, just process elimination that. It wasn't even a funny joke. And then, you know, the poop team was subpar, cost me $8, and was pitifully sized. Absolutely pitiful size to it. And then the donair sauce they offered, someone else who got, I think it was uh, garlic fingers. Well, that was, uh, that was a milky white substance, Finish. that to say the least. Oh, we oh, won by hey, one. Come on. Their donair sauce looked awful. Because donair sauce is basically like vinegar mixed with something, right? And it's like, it's like a, a white color, but theirs was missing color and it was just like translucent white. It was fucking gross like, to look at. Ooh, anyway, yeah, there was no reason to go there ever again. And it didn't matter because they were closing. I can't oh, imagine I mean, why. Yeah, I can't imagine why after that service. I someone talks about salty food and makes me want to tell my salty story. You were, why, why were you having salt at Subway? Uh, okay, so here's, the, here's my salty Subway story, chat. So at one of our old venues, there was a Subway like right across the street. And I like going there because I like Subway before you criticize me. And there was a period of time where I like getting salt on my sub. Don't do that anymore, by the way. So don't, don't judge me too hard. Did the salt shaker break open? No. Um, so what happened was the lady I'm taking my order started accidentally putting pepper on it. And I was like, uh, no, I asked for salt. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And so to try and mask the pepper, she just ran over the, the sandwich with the salt shaker like four times. And I'm like... You should have stopped her. I should have stopped her, but I didn't. And, uh, Holy yeah, I took shit. it back to the bed. I <laughs> took it back. Yeah, that's no, really, really you really could dumb. you could cook it in the oven at 500 degrees for 30 minutes, or you could cook it in the oven 5,000 degrees 30 seconds. <laughs> and just the same amount applies, right? Yeah. That's that's what she did there. She basically just dropped a salt shaker on your on your side. Basically. Anyway, I took it back to the venue, and yeah, I took a bite, and I, I'm not convinced that anything else I asked for on that sub was there, because it was just pure salt. <laughs> like eating a brick of salt. It was like your practice you know what the performance. Worst part was? Uh, it was the GPP venue, and that was the last tournament we had there, so that was the last time I ever went to that subway. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> So, dual mini games are heavily skewed for first place, so I'm not doing it. Mm, instead, buy a nice board. I think I know what subway you're talking about. I went there like exactly once and it wasn't. Yeah, it was the funny. one across the street from GPP. Yeah. Uh, I think, was it like in, a, in built into a college? It wasn't built into a college. No, no. Oh, it might be different. Yeah. Remember this one time I was at. I mean, there's, there's the one down at Dow. Yeah, that might be the one then. Yeah. <laughs> they the they subway. have a subway on venue. And right. like, we have to shoot him, you LNR to move in, and you press A. Fire, water ball, slowest moving, Don Maku, Pega aim, you know the drill. Like, yeah, but like, I'm far away. I remember, like, yeah, I was in this in the subway. There was like this one dude ahead of me. And like, um. Per, the per, he, she, he was having trouble, like, explaining what he wanted. To, like the lady working there. It's a sub, man. Yeah, I <laughs> know. No, no, here's the thing. He was trying to order a salad. Oh. At Subway? Yes. What do 
you just read it? It's a salad plate? What happened? Yeah, like, he kept, he kept trying to, like, explain what kind of salad he want, wants, and he's saying all this stuff, like, I've never heard of. And the lady had to go, like, fetch, like, the salad-making stuff. Was it a prank? But, oh, no, but then at the end, like, he kind of just turns and looks at me, he's like, can you believe this? Like, don't fucking drag me into this. You're the one that went to Subway for a salad. <laughs> oh, God, I have a similar story for that, where, uh, we were, it was an evening shift, and we were all getting off, and there was this guy who was like, hey, dude, go. like, can you, can you guys get in, like, contact with someone? The bank machine just ate my card. So we brought him to the girl in the cash office, and she's like, there's nothing we can do, dude. It's not our machine. And he's going on about, like, he's like, so you're not taking any responsibility. And it's like, no, it's not our machine. And he, he walks away, and he's like, so you're not taking responsibility. Cool. And I end up seeing him again, because we get in the same line for the cash register. And he starts talking to me again. He's like, she always like that? I'm like, I don't fucking know, dude. I, I, don't, I, I work one part of the store. And he starts telling me about how good his crypto is doing. And I'm like, I do not care a single part. <laughs> like, funny. I do not care. He starts talking about his crypto. Yeah, he was like, hey, my crypto's doing pretty well. So the so. bank machine ate my card, and I don't know why. Anyway, here's my crypto <laughs> investment. Mm, I'm putting two yeah, and two together like, here, buddy. I, I don't, like, I, I don't want to You should have asked him which one. Dogecoin. <laughs> if he said Dogecoin, it wouldn't be, you would have had it. You would have had a perfect I story. I don't know anything about that stuff. I did not care to ask, and I just kind of tried to be like, I was like, oh, cool, and just, like, tried to end the conversation. <laughs> Like, I what? don't care. Just bring up his fucking <laughs> crypto. crypto. What? What the fuck? That's so wild. Is this like the new exercise thing where you gotta like tell everybody what, what kind of diet you're on at every moment? Know. No, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm investing in Dogecoin. It's a economy. It's the economist veganism, I suppose. You gotta let everyone know that you're investing in a coin, and you have to tell everyone that it's totally gonna take off, and you're not puffing <laughs> the ultimate supply of copium with it. However, All right, what are we you know. Using? You actually did invest in Bitcoin, all like, coins, whatever all it came out, you'd be a, pretty good so far. Oh, these games. Alright, so all coins are on the line. Pump, pump. <laughs> I have, like, 14 coins. I'm not really that scared. Oh, boy. Are we good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's okay. I don't even know how much coin I have. I, don't, right. I didn't have enough for the star, so I'm not losing much. Eat, eat. Let's get it. Alright, bread will be acquired. Alright, Dylan, I trust to share a path with you. I'm just going over here and hoping, like... Jump. I tried. Oh. I definitely tried. Oh well, 14 coins doesn't matter. I, I think I have like 16 or something. Maybe 19? I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but it doesn't matter. I didn't lose that oh, much. Oh, the invisible wall got me. Yeah, if you go too far forward, you get blocked by a wall and the game doesn't tell you. That's fun. Do your best, Toad. Speed! Do your best. So you gotta remember feel like they're gonna be awkward around them, do you remember all of them are just awkward? You remember they're all gonna be awkward around you first. Yeah. I don't trust to be on the same platform as him, so I'm just gonna like... I just wonder how like badly you want to talk about something when you start talking to a random guy in the grocery line by the time. I mean, you've worked in retail. You, you know how some customers are. Yeah, I know, but I try They definitely customers. overshare sometimes. So, some customers are like... They're, they are one hello, how can I help you, from giving you the entire rundown of what's gone on in your life in the last 70 years. And, like, I swear to God, this happens. And what can you do? Like, excuse yourself? I'm just sitting out here anyway. I once I remember one dude went on a rant with me because I pronounced the word the American way, according to him. I don't even remember what the word was, but he just, he really wanted to talk. And I really wanted to get away from him. <laughs> dude, I'm just trying to stop the show. Go away. Oh, I lost all my coins. Oh, I had 31 coins? I had more coins than I thought. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, I think I said anti, and he insisted that it should be said as anti. I'm like, dude, who fucking cares? <laughs> who cares? I didn't realize that was a, a regional thing. I, I, I it probably isn't. He just wanted to talk. I swear. Some people care a little too much about pronunciation, and then they expect us to care when we pronounce words incorrectly or with a, by a different uh, pronunciation. With uh, but the word is still the same anyway, and it's like, wow, I don't care. And you complaining about it makes me care even less. How about that? Um, All right, well, so half my quick. I'll take. I basically get refunded. Basically, I'll round it up too. There you go. I never miss you. Could you imagine if someone talked to you with an accent and you were like, oh, that's not how you pronounce that word every single time they tried to talk to you? It's like, wow, I have a striking desire to stop speaking to you all of a sudden, and I'm not sure where it came from. For real, though. 
I had another restaurant story and I can't remember what it was. Shit. I miss going to restaurants. Dude, restaurants are great. I they say that in the last, last experience I had a big ass rat. Get yeah. rat! I honestly can't remember what a. Yeah, good one too. Bad fast food. Alright, what you playing a mini game for? Fast food barely counts. 30 quid drive Wait, through. Why am I playing a game on my own? Because you meet nobody at the McDonald's. Mm. Fine. Oh, this one. Alright. We'll never get that other one. <laughs> so what though? This one this one's the only one you can really lose. So let's see what happens. Alright, here we go. Go! Oh, DKY. Alright. I've got the advantage. I'm going to choke. Yo, the straight shot. Finish! Rough, did it. Rough, 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 you rough. You both rough. have the exact same pass. There we go. Like, can you just screen peek him to know, technically? Well, yeah, but if he picks the last bridge and is correct, you can't outrun him. So you can you can follow him up to a certain point, yeah, but you're better off just kind of going for it. But if you are behind, obviously, you can you can look off his screen. He ain't gonna complain that you're cheating. Alright, <laughs> let's get the bread. Battery ram? Battery ram. Right, we actually lost this last time, so I'm gonna not What is that, that buddy emo? <laughs> That's Kerbutt. Oh, Kerbutt. I see. Yeah. Alright, this is a fun game. It's really it's not. Fun. I think, I thought it was cool as a kid because it was, like, too smart for me, but oh, now no. I, I kind of cheated. Oh, no, yeah, I lost him with the AI. I'm gonna go first. Alright, yep. Go! Chad, I remember the story. Um... So, how many of you know what the trailer park boys are? Because those guys, they're, they're, I think I don't know how famous they are outside of, like, Andrew, you gotta go up, and oh. then I go back down. Oh, right. I'm sorry. You go, you turn, yeah, you, turn. Thing, you turn, you turn, you turn, here. you turn. Sorry. I go this way. The wrong no, way. Actually... You I'm are sorry, I'm not, not Yeah, you're not figuring these angles out at all. There you go. Go up it, I go in. Yep. I go down, you go up, straight up, you go in there, I go in here. Too late. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually an idiot. Todd is actually smart. Yeah, it's, like he, it's like he was reading my inputs and going on. The path never changes, so once you kind of memorize it, you kind of just get it every time. Alright, what was I was saying? Uh, so we went to this, there's this place called King of Donaire that exists out here, right? Oh, I've seen that place around. Yeah, well, it was in Trailer Park Boys, I guess, and they love to advertise that. They have they have monitors and stuff going on about that all the time. Like, yo, you, this, is the place, this is the place that you saw in Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys, homegrown, whatever, I don't care. But I went there, I got a, I got a Donaire, Donaire poutine, because they, they specialize in Donaire, right? So I placed the order, and we were sitting in there, for like 30 minutes, and it's like, it's like, is my order done? Like, I'm just sitting there waiting. There's nobody else in the store, customer-wise. I'm just wondering why it's taking so long. And we've been sitting there the whole time since I placed my order, and I eventually just walk up, like nearly 30 minutes later. I'm like, yo, is my order done? And the dude is like, oh yeah, here. And then he just like tosses it to me from off the oven. I was like, what, what the fuck is this? It wasn't even that good. Haven't gone back since. There you go. That's never good. I waited for 30 minutes and he just he just threw it on top of the oven and it was like didn't tell me. I was the only one in the store. Wait, why do you have to do a single player game? You're in last. I don't even know what the penalty is for losing. He just loses I all lose quid. more. All is quid. <coughs> this game's impossible to lose. Just jump on until you find the key. Yeah! That's it. Right there. Easy. Yeah, there's a lot of single player mini games that kind of bloats Seven's playtime. No wonder the start default option is 15 turns. Yeah. Good noise. Uh, poutine is fries covered in gravy and cheese curds. Finish. Yeah, a good game. I like how if you do this mini game, any of these mini games early, you just immediately get to the door instead of having to wait 27 <laughs> seconds. Fast forward. Donair Pizza is great. There was actually another Donair place. Uh, I th yeah, it was a Donair place, and they uh, 
You know, you ever, you ever see that episode of SpongeBob where Squidward calls the Krabby Patty a heart attack on the bottom? Yeah. No, Squidward, I meant good for your soul. Like, I, I had a Donair burger that was unironically bad. Because <laughs> they, they, uh, they pump so much Donair into whatever you order and load it with sauce. The burger was like, you know, the burger was like twice as thick as a normal burger and with, with uh, how much the Donair was stacked and it was so runny with Donair sauce and it was so good. It was amazing. But holy shit, it made you, it made you feel something. Yeah, I'm hungry too now. Alright, maybe Tower Pizza again. Heart attack poutine? I've had Donair pizza as well. Donair pizza is actually the food equivalent to a hangover after you eat it. It's so good, but after the second slice, if you eat any more, you're actually going to feel awful, and when you wake up the next day, you're gonna regret it. But in the moment, it's the best thing you could ever eat. So much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am not laying up out here. I, I don't like chain pizza places. Domino's pizza, you mean cardboard? Yeah, right? Like cardboard with ketchup on it? The chain, uh, the chain pizza places are a little... The quality is, kind of takes a hit for the, the, the service, right? So, thankfully, we live in an area with a lot of local places, and the local place around here is make some damn good pizza. True. Uncle Buck's always my pizza place of choice. Yeah, but stuff like, uh, stuff like Donair, or not Donair, Domino's, Little Caesars, stuff like I that. I hate those pizzas. They're, they're just bad. It's like, if you're gonna order, like, Little Caesars or Domino's, you may as well go, go to the grocery store and buy a frozen one. Yeah, the frozen ones are better. Yeah. Honestly. The, uh, the, uh, the local pizza places are definitely better, but they put more, uh, they put more into them. We also have local, like, uh, poutine places, too, because that's, it's that popular in Canada. Yeah, it's good, too. Alright, this game, you want to make the tiles the most of your color, I'm with the computer. Yeah, alright. You can also hit people. I don't really know if it actually does much of anything, but you can do it. The appeal of the fast food pizza is, Go! it's price. More than anything. Oh. Yeah, you sure can. Yeah, you sure can. Four is ours! Well, that was a... Uh... <laughs> That was a good game. <laughs> yeah. Mail. There we go. Boneless pizza. That's what my favorite kind of pizza. <laughs> Boneless pizza. Where did that even come from? I never, Probably I never... prank calls. Oh. Sounds like yeah, a prank call have... thing. You guys have boneless pizza. <laughs> They're all bonus, actually. Hey, imagine. Yeah, if you just answer them legitimately, they'll probably just, like, give up. Or just try to actually order a real pizza. Like, if you just get mad at them, then they win. Yeah. Now, the thing I hate about restaurants is when you're not sure what to order, and you're, like, you go, you go, you want to order, oh, like... start from this. I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's taught. You don't know what to order because everything is fairly priced, so you know, you don't want to spend and not like it. But then, like, you, you take a gamble on something and then you get it and it's not good, or the portion size is so small that you actually just feel like a fool. That's why I always order a burger and fries because a burger and fries is always large enough to be a real meal and it's a good price. But I order something like a mac and cheese. When we went to Montreal, I ordered like a, I think it was like twenty dollar mac and cheese. And they brought out this... Oh, he loses wrong. the star. That was the far right he wanted. Oh boy. That's gonna sting a bit. He lost the star. It was a... Uh, it was a mac and cheese. And it was in a, a hot... Like a hot iron pan. And they just brought it out. And it was like 20 bucks and it was tiny. Uh, the only reason I bought it... Was because... It had Doritos on it somehow. And I was like, how the fuck do you have mac and cheese with Dorito dust? I had to know. It was not as impressive as you think, but yeah, basically I spent I spent about twenty dollars Canadian to look at a mac and cheese and be like, wow, I wish I didn't do that. Meanwhile, my friend bought a, a rack of ribs for basically the same price, and it looked like looked like he could have extras for at least another day. I was like, wow. All right, single player time. This is a pain in the ass. 
That's why you never order uncomfortable foods. You order what you know, right? Yeah, that's why I order grilled cheese. cheese. Guys, you can't fuck. No. Okay, I know you talked about this. Uh, well, you know, why would you buy a grilled cheese and you would just make it? You can't fuck up grilled cheese. That's that's my excuse. But why would you go to a restaurant order a grilled cheese? Because I want a grilled cheese. Oh look, that game person just won. I remember you guys took me to that Japanese place. Taco oh, Sushi. Uh, that's, I love that, that place. place yeah, I like the ramen there a lot. I learned how to make my own ramen because of that. Uh, I actually food. don't like their ramen very much. You I like their salad and then their sushi. I like, figure. Well, the first dish I ever ordered there was a katsudon. Go! <clears throat> which oh, was yeah, great. Oh yeah, the pork curry is also amazing. I, start, I basically only order curry now, yeah. Uh, any day now. I want to learn to make curry now. Curry is like, you get like a block and then you make it up in a pot and then you apply it to the dish afterwards. It takes some time. I made it once, but it took a while. It's good though. Curry is really fucking it good. It is really good. I bought some from the, uh, the, the place that we used to go to before events. Really good. Yeah, they had some blocks to work with. I'm not sure how much to use is all. I usually use like two mm -hmm. blocks from it. And I kind of made it good enough for what I had. Yeah. And I use chicken tenders for the, the chicken. It's delicious. See, so the thing is, when we went to Oakland again, uh, there was actually, there was like a little Chinatown area, and there was a ramen place, which is really good ramen. And like, I had that ramen, and I was like, that was, that was some good ass ramen. Yeah, I, I like going to a restaurant and being satisfied, you know? I miss restaurants. So do I. It's still 50-50, like, yeah, you go in there, you get something good, or you go in there and you see a big-ass rat in the bathroom. <laughs> You're never gonna let that rat down, huh? No, that's not that my last the experience. Oh, it's happening. Where's the star? It goes, oh, like, a year and a half. Star's up there, you'll miss it if you take the dog. Yeah, you're right. I don't even know how many turns are left. There ain't no, there ain't no charm in that, like, rat two. Week. How many turns are left? Two. Oh, okay. We're gonna be sub-hour on this. All versus me! All I really did was successfully make myself hungry, and I don't really have anything big to make. I don't want sauceless spaghetti because of sauceless spaghetti. Noodles. Damn it. I also don't want to order a pizza because that's like 20 bucks, and I have to wait for that. Go! What do you do here? One. Except the uh, AI has a uh, great reaction time. Oh my god, Well, they're never gonna miss the button, so at least it's that. Oh, I almost messed that up. Apply ketchup to my spaghetti. What about barbecue sauce? I have that. Chat, do you think barbecue sauce on spaghetti oh, will be good? Sauce. What do you think? Barbecue sauce on spaghetti? I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce, so I can't comment. What do you think, chat? No, no, no yeah. way. Maybe. I'm gonna like cook something when I get home now, but it's late. But I don't know if I can even stream in the morning because like construction. Well, oh. I don't like. I, I, that's actually. Yeah, I meant to mention that too. I might have to do some evening streams this week at the same time as you because I don't know when they're gonna come back and tear up one of the sidewalks. I don't think like they work on weekends, do they? Yeah, but it's on like Monday now. All right. Uh, well, if you do, then what, what, what are we gonna do about it, right? Like, yeah. not, like, we share the internet. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. you can win a star for this. You also have to, uh, I think you have to dual hit master, too. Yeah, that would be bad. Alright. Pay attention. Okay. I, I, know it is. I think it's the third one, but I don't I think know. it's the one the, uh, no. Oh, okay, no, I was wrong. I thought it was the bar right again. Alright, you trusted me without hesitation. <laughs> I might have been wrong there. I lost it for a second, I but I, I think I gone. had it. There you oh, go. Yeah, they, don't tell, they only show you where the star was again. Alright, chat. Here's what I'm gonna do after the stream. I'm gonna make myself spaghetti. I'm gonna apply barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna eat it. And I will update you on how good it is. Alright? Chef Antoine, the king of cuisine. I'm gonna make edible food when I get home. Hey, I, I, but what? How, how bad could it be, right? I don't know. I mean, if you like barbecue sauce, it doesn't sound like it'd be that awful, but I do worry about the, uh, the viscosity of barbecue sauce compared to regular spaghetti sauce. 
Well, I wouldn't use it much. I to offer it a peanut butter burger as an item. <laughs> oh, I remember. I remember that before. Peanut butter burger. I didn't order it, but they had all kinds of fancy burgers. I think I had one like that. Yeah, it was the Burger Week stuff. They all, uh, every restaurant has like, a weird ass burger and it's promoted. Some of them are good. I had a few of them last time. Or the year before people, that. I heard ironically the peanut butter burger was good, but like, I didn't want to try it. Yeah, no thanks. I wasn't going to spend money and be like, yeah, this is gross. Where's the stuff? Peanut it's butter burger. No, that's right. There we go. I don't think hmm. I'm winning this one, chat. I think the bur burger I had during Burger Week was like, it was like what? It was like egg and like guacamole. Ew! What the? That's dense. I've awful. never had guacamole, but I, I kind of liked it, gross. but it was huge and I couldn't finish it. We gotta collect these things. I had a maple burger before. I think I What was that one burger that the waitress had to read off to us like 10 times because we have shit memories? Go! That time? Well, if I didn't have a shit memory, I'd be able to tell you there, huh, genius? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, that was a, that was a lot. Remember, the coins can hit you as well. They don't have to hit your box. I know. I, I learned that. I'm, ta just I'm talking to my partner. Toad, why did you run away from me? See, the hitbox is huge. Oh, toad. Toad. Wow, I picked it up off the ground. Nice. 19. Chad, I will do it. I will make it. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna post it on Twitter, obviously, because I gotta farm the. I gotta farm that engagement. What else do you do on Twitter but show off and hope people give you fake internet points, right? You'll know about it. I'll tell you. And it will be. It'll be great. Wow, a two and a one. That's impressive. Hey, you gotta start for one of those rolls. Gonna farm those unfollows. The only other thing I've been eating is like I've been having like bowls of granola with blueberries and strawberries in the morning. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. great. I remember when right. you used to make they used to buy yogurt and fruit and make like yogurt bowls and they were delicious. I bought my uh, muffins for myself to eat in the morning and then I ate one and I was up at 5 a.m. dying in the bathroom. So I haven't bought them since. <laughs> Why are we all rolling one? It's the regular muffin. I just got up and I was like, something's coming out one way or the other and it's not happening and I tried really hard to force it and my body was telling me to fuck off. I was not having a good time. Uh, which way? Down. It's the last turn, doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It oh, literally doesn't matter. I'm so hungry and my head's nice now. Yeah. My apple's fine on pizza. I saw, I follow an artist, uh, Clarissa Arts. She draws a lot of weird shit. Uh, like, she's, she's the one who drew the Squidward Battle 2, the one that's like the SA2 cover with Squidward and Squilliam. Uh -huh. But she drew something like hella cursed. And then the immediate tweet after it was like, I lost nine followers for this. And I was like, nice. <laughs> Alright, so just press the button that appears over your head. Yeah, I lose because Todd's reaction time, as we all know, is uh, not good. That's the, that's the polite way to put it. Boing. Alright, here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. You got a whole ass city street going on here. You got people living their lives here. Nope. It's okay, you, you have like five more mess ups in you before we are even remotely uh, on stage. I feel like a real, real idiot when I fuck up the A button in it, though. Just make it green? Yeah, it's so obvious. I was just saying, Well, we almost made it. <clears throat> I love their cursed imagery. Yeah, they're, they're some great art. Hedgehog, I like that one. They just have a lot of weird, like, really good detailed Crossovers stuff. Crossovers that no one asked for? It's all hella cursed, though, yeah. <laughs> I love their, their Squidward Adventure Battle too. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea who won this board. I have Dylan. three stars. Yeah, probably you. Or yeah, I you think play. I won this pretty confidently. Yeah. Uh, perhaps. Well, the bonus stars can be different. True. Running orb and red. red. Well, I actually don't know. I'm not sure either. I don't think- I willingly red. walked into a red space once. I remember that. Oh, it's you? Alright. I use most orbs, okay. Alright, I, then you win, because I can't catch up to you in points, and I can only tie you in stores. I only used one triple mushroom. And you probably still won, because that orb is really good for that. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. And 
And reds? I have no idea. I can only remember landing on one. I don't know how many I landed on. There two. are two. <laughs> oh. Well, I got all three. It puts it above dry <laughs> bullets. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks guys. Alright, in the castle. I think I got third. I don't know if- I don't remember how many coins Toad had. Yeah, past hour. Wow, I, uh, I cleaned that one up hella hard, huh? Yeah. Oh, I'll do it for three. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, all these boards, I was able to just sit there and do nothing because nothing was happening. He was present. <laughs> he yeah, was there. Good. Toad wins. Congratulations. Six oh, 106. Hey, I, I got wow, six. that is not a- that was not a fair game. 106, wow. 25. I used one more orb than you two. Oh. And I, I was only five spaces ahead of Andrew on that. And then red space. Orb, so I might have made a difference. Was there. three. There you go. Yeah, and then Bowser and DK happened a number of times. Alright, stars. Christian was a flat line until at the end, Toad went down because he, he picked, picked the, the dark star. star. I got a, I got a star. I got two stars in sequence and then nothing else. And I was uh, all stocks. Cause yeah, I bought the star and then I used the flutter because it was behind us. Now there, that that's that guy's uh, crypto right there. Right, no. I, <laughs> that's yeah, soon to was, be the guy's I crypto. I bought the star. I bought the star. It was in front of you and you bought it and then it respawned like behind us. So I just bought it. Why did Christian get a, such a sharp decline? Was uh, this the Bowser he, game? Yeah, it was the Bowser game. He lost like 70 points for it. Oh, okay. Cause I I lost like 14. Yeah, you didn't lose much. Yeah, so I spent money and then lost like, the rest of it there, and then I started climbing up. Alright. Yes, good chance. Oh, I didn't even look at it. Oh. Oh, that's that. Uh, there it is. Oh, uh, I lost that. Yeah, that's basically just yeah. kind of pretty standard. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. I had fun. You earned 348 points. What, what do you do with them? Alright, well, there you go. Just an hour, 15 turn game. It was mostly Ooh. talking about food, so hope you're not Sorry, hungry. I'm hungry. As for me, hungry. I'm gonna go make some barbecue sauce spaghetti now. That ought to be great. Well, that was uh, Andrew's birthday. Yeah, big birthday. And in two weeks, we'll be back, and I'll be mine, and then we'll do the same thing, maybe. Unless I think of anything else. Who, who the fuck knows, though, right? Who knows? I'll think about it. Maybe, maybe we'll try something different than Mario Party. Maybe we'll try some other multiplayer games. But until then, you know, I got two weeks to figure it out. Yeah.